Hi, and welcome to another helpful tutorial video from Ship Our Wedding, where we help you easily and affordably plan gorgeous DIY events. Today we'll show you how simple it is to set up a projector for your slideshows, montages, and video presentations. So if you're planning a party or an event, you might need help with more than just drapes, lights, or DIY services. You might also need help with projecting a video. This is our projector. This projector is very user-friendly. It's also very bright. It comes in at 4,200 lumens. To give you an idea, the contrast ratio is 3,000 to 1. This can do a couple different formats, 720p and also 1080p. Mostly we'll do 720p, but if you're running at 60 hertz, then you can do a 1080p resolution. The max power of this projector is 311 watts. And you can transfer your media to this in a couple different formats. The most popular would be HDMI, RCA, USB, and DisplayPort. To help with taking sound out of the projector, there is a headphone jack audio out, which can be converted through an adapter to XLR. This way you can take it to an audio system for playback through a sound system. One reason why our projectors and projector screens are so popular, what most venues will do is they will contract out a third party AV company that's local in the area. That AV company will give them a quote to set up a projector and a screen, and the venue will go ahead and mark that price up in their contract. So to make sure you're getting the best price, we do encourage you to check your date's availability through our website to see how we can help you with projector and projector screens. Before we go DIY, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Not on our website yet? Click the link in the video description for more rental info. So let's go ahead and set up our 4200 lumen projector. This right here will make your image wider or it'll make it tighter. That's what W and T stands for. This knob up here will focus your image in and out. AV mute will close the shutter and turn off the image. This is great for if you like to have everything set up, but you like to go ahead and hide it until you're ready to go. Then you can quickly open it and then start your slideshow. If you need to adjust the height of your projector, you can easily push up on this button and you'll notice these feet will come out. You can also adjust the back feet on your projector by twist them out like this to elevate it from the back and to lift it up. You can adjust the feet on both sides on the back of your projector. Some of the inputs are DisplayPort, HDMI, RCA, and USB. If you're plugging in a USB and it doesn't work, your USB might be upside down if it's not a fully enclosed USB. If you need to take audio out to a sound system, you can use a headphone jack here and convert that to XLR and plug that into your sound system. First, you'll decide where to put your projector. This way, it's in a place where it will not get knocked over by guests. Our projector is roughly 10 feet away from the screen. If you would like your picture to take up the entire screen, you will put your projector roughly 15 feet away from the screen. Next, you'll plug in your projector with a power cord in this port right here. And then, turn on your projector either by pushing this button on your projector or on your remote. You notice a projector will take approximately 30 seconds to boot up, and when it's finished booting up, it will load on our icon like this. So first we'll test the projector by plugging in a USB stick. USB sticks are great for playing quick JPEG images. After you plug in the USB stick, it should load directly to the USB content. If not, hit this USB button on your remote like this. Next, you will use your remote to scroll over to the photo of your choice. Once you're on your photo, click the center circular button to open it and click it again to hide the bottom menu. You can load a bunch of JPEG images in here and have it randomly scroll through them or you can have the image stay on one image by going down, going to the left on option, clicking the select center button and putting it on continuous play. Screen switching time should be on no if you want to keep it on one image or if you want to switch images every one second you would click it to one second or two seconds. Hit OK at the very bottom, and now it will scroll through photos. So we'll select the image and click the slideshow button, which is a center circular button. To turn off the slideshow, go back down to option from the main slideshow menu. Keep it on continuous play, but switch screen switching time back down to no, and then hit OK. Now you'll notice when we select an image and we hit the center select button, it will not change images. Next, we'll show you how to control this through HDMI from a computer. Once your HDMI is plugged into your computer, like this, or you can use an adapter if you do not have an HDMI input, go ahead and plug the other portion of your HDMI cable into the back of your projector. It'll take a second to initialize. Then on your remote, select the video button. You'll notice it loaded a video and I could hit play. If you're planning a wedding party, do you know the church 
and it's now playing the video. If I hit escape and I go up to the preferences for my computer and hit sound, I can select the projector. Now if I maximize it, you'll notice the sound will now come out of the projector. Results you want at prices you love. What if you could skip those expensive vendors by doing it yourself? You could turn up and down the volume on your projector by pressing these buttons right here. Also, if you like to freeze it on the screen while it's playing, you can hit this bottom freeze button right here. It'll freeze it on the screen and keep playing the video. It's popular rentals you know and love at a fraction of the price. When Just like that. Yourself, it is now frozen. And get the exact to want. unfreeze it, Most of our uplink, you click freeze rentals, again. Limits and other rentals set up in minutes, so there's no experience needed. Let's show you a better high resolution video of our projector in action. Do not move your projector while it's plugged in, and after turning it off, wait 10 minutes until moving it. The projector needs to cool down first because there's a very hot bulb inside of it. We recommend bundling your package with our optional projector screen to display your image. If you're planning a wedding or party, then you know local event companies charge high costs. Their labor and overhead makes it hard to get results you want at prices you love. Browse ship our wedding or DIY tutorial videos and get started by checking your date's availability. Together, let's help you plan the event you deserve. See guys, it's that simple to set up our projector. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.